Hey guys, so I'm just here at the Tea Horse Hostel in Harper's Ferry. So I just came back from supper out at the Kelly's Farm Kitchen. It's a vegan restaurant, it's really good. I got like an avocado toast salad and a nice fresh uh, French press coffee, which was great. So I was kind of feeling a little under the weather today, so that's why I, I decided to, to stay here for a bit. So. Hoping to feel good enough to get out in the morning because I really want to get that Maryland stretch done. But, um, yeah, no. I will keep you guys updated on what happens. Hey guys, it's day six. Um, I just passed the Mason Dixon line. Of course, forgot to film it. But so, I am now in Maryland. Original plan was for me to hike northbound to that line, but because I took a day off yesterday, I decided I'm gonna hike into Harper's Ferry so I can kind of do it at my own pace rather than waiting for a shuttle. So, yeah, I just got dropped off. It's around a little after eight o'clock in the morning and it feels nice to be back on the trail. I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday. So, excited to be out here. I'm guessing it's gonna probably take me two and a half days to get to Harper's Ferry. I don't wanna push too much. So I will film a little bit more later. So I'm just here at Penmar. It's a really cute little park. Saw some bathrooms, thought they were open. Apparently not. All right, time to hike on. Okay, so I just came from that direction. I'm going up this way. So Maryland is relatively flat so far. It's a bit rocky, but Definitely a change of scenery from Northern Virginia. All right, so I'm just getting into the high rock ledges. The graffiti rock that's so well known in Maryland. It's like a little parking area. I think you catch back onto the AT over there somewhere too. Nice to see what this view's like. We're gonna sit here and have a snack. Oh wow, you have a really nice view. Oh wow, okay. This is definitely worth the like point one off trail. Alright, just about to cross the road. I already rolled my ankle once. I feel like that's not going to be the last time that I roll my ankle in this trip. I've already rolled it a few times in Virginia. It's bound to happen. Bugs are pretty bad today. I'm also at lower elevation. Alright. I guess I go this way. Hey guys, so I'm taking lunch here at a water source. It's pretty good. Just eating a um, trail mix. I have about 11.3 miles left. Ah, just a little bit of dirt. Just fine. It's fine. Five second roll. Um, 11.3 miles to Pine Knob Shelter, which is where I'm planning on staying tonight. So I've done a little over six miles today. More hills than I expected for Maryland. Not that I'm complaining. It's really not that bad at all. But just like, there's like really flat sections and then there's like really rocky sections that kind of slow you down a little bit. But it's been going good today. It's a little hot. I have a bit of a heat rash on my back, which sucks because that's where my pack is. So can't really do much about that until I get off trail. So... I'm just trying to like take breaks every so often so I can take my pack off and let my shirt breathe. <laughs> All right, well, I'll catch you guys down the trail. Does anyone know, I don't know if you guys can hear it. That sounds like the emergency broadcast like sound. Anyways, it's a perfectly sunny day. So I don't know why it's going off, however, I'm just 
just gonna keep my eyes open, I guess. Something different. Going through a clearing here. I can hear some cars. Got about 10 miles left of the day today, so not too bad. It was so weird. I heard that a sound earlier that sounded like, you know, like the, the emergency signal broadcast thing that gets sent out, like, but it was out loud. Like, I could hear it in the distance, and I was like, this is so weird. Like, why am I hearing that? Anyway, it's just not a cloud in the sky, so I'm not concerned, but, you know, it's probably the most randomest thing I'm going to hear today. Walking through a field. It's a farm with some cows over there. Pretty warm out today. Say high 80s. So pretty hot. But it's nice when you get some shade. It's been a good day so far. I think I'm making decent time. Not as fast as I wanted to, but you know what? Who cares? As long as I can get somewhere to camp tonight, I'll have no issue making my miles. Unless I roll my ankle for a third time. Seems to be easy to do in Maryland. Because it's weird. I've also like lost my way a couple times because I keep looking at my feet so much that I like look up and I'm like, oh wait, there's no white blaze right here. I have to go back. <laughs> I've done that a few times. But trail seems more well marked right now. Okay, so I'm not really hiking that fast, really, because you kind of can't with all the rocks and stuff, but I just fell, just wiped out. I rolled another ankle, so this is three times I've rolled an ankle today, and you can't really see my leg that much, but anyways, it's a little banged up. It's fine, but if, well, <laughs> we're doing the Maryland section, be careful. So this is going to sound a little lazy, and it probably is. The shelter's right there. The trail's right here. And I'm sitting down right here on the trail. I mean, no one, I haven't seen anyone all day on the trail. But it looks like there's a lot of bugs over there, so I decided to stay over here. I'm going to have a little snack. Let my leg kind of rest in my ankles. I've uh, been through some shit today so <laughs> it's gonna be maryland guys that takes me down here uh, i like doesn't matter how cautious i am and whatnot i'm still uh getting beat up all right guys so this is what the trail's like right now it's pretty nice I'm starting to get a blister on my left foot but i kind of had it to start with because of the way i was walking in my flip-flops yesterday i think it just kind of got worse so i'll have to deal with that at camp or maybe when i go to the next water source and I'll take off my pack. Um, it was, there was a lot of boulders about an hour ago. I didn't want to film that part though because of my frequency of rolling my ankle today. So I figured I'd focus solely on the trail. My knee's holding up all right after that fall. Um, I saw the first people that I did all day that were hikers on trail at 3.30 in the afternoon. So been a pretty quiet day on trail. All right, guys, I am here at Pine Knob Shelter. I did an 18 mile day today. Um, it's relatively good besides rolling my my uh, ankles. Um, they seem to be doing okay. I'm gonna see how they're doing in the morning and that will decide on how many miles I do because I can do either a 12.5 mile day uh, to Crampton Gap Shelter or I'm gonna do a 16.6 .6 to Ed Garvey Shelter. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do because regardless of which one I stay at, I'm going to have a short day the next day into Harper's Ferry. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of historical places that I'm going to be visiting tomorrow along the trail. So I might want to do a lower day. Um, yeah, it was pretty hot today. Really hot today. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because it could be raining. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.